Hello, Tubies. This is Bob Hickman. It is so good to be with you, and I really mean that today. <clears throat> I want to come here. A lot of you have been panicking. I'm sorry if I induced a lot of fear in you yesterday. I was in a very bad state. I'm still recovering and still healing from my injuries. <clears throat> but I want to say thank you to all of you who came out to support me. Thank you to all of you who have been calling me, writing me, praying for me. It means a lot. Your prayers and your love have been the strength that has got me through. And I want to say thank you to all of you. So I think for now the best message we can send those who are engaging in torture against American civilians is to show them that we will not be deterred from our path, that our lives will continue. And so I come here today to bring this video to you. You know, <clears throat> tomorrow is the, the vernal equinox. And so I've decided we're going to continue on as we always would. And we're going to have a video today about the vernal equinox. You know, I'm wearing some beautiful jewelry today. This is an Ankh. And it has a little emerald green crystal in it. Let me show that to you so you can see that. Isn't that lovely? The Ankh is the symbol of life. It means eternal life. And the green emerald is also a life color. And I'm wearing that over my heart chakra to strengthen my heart, to strengthen my body. But also because we're at spring now, this symbolizes new life, new beginning. I'm also wearing the beautiful scapular. Many of you who have followed me for years know that I'm a great believer in the great Mother Mary, and I always wear her scapular as well. And even though I'm a Wiccan, I, I still love Mary, and I still wear her scapular. Scapular is uh, made of brown wool, and it's the cloak of the great mother. So these items I wear are protective. They bless me. They attune me to the earth, to the great mother, and to the Lord. And, you know, here we are at spring equinox, and this is a very powerful time because it's about new life, new beginnings. And so I thought the best way to celebrate my survival is to celebrate the equinox. I have here a, a book. Many of you have read this probably. It's an old one, Wicca, A Guide for the Solitary Practitioner. This is by Scott Cunningham, one of my favorite authors. authors. And... He has a little section in here um, about Ostara, about the, the equinoxes and the uh, Sabbaths and the Espats. <clears throat> so I'm going to read to you his section on Ostara. Ostara, circa March 21st. The spring equinox, also known as spring, rites of spring, and Ostara's day, marks the first day of true spring. The energies of nature subtly shift from the sluggishness of winter to the exuberant expansion of spring. The goddess blankets the earth with fertility, bursting forth from her sleep as the god stretches and grows to maturity. He walks the greening fields and delights in the abundance of nature. On Ostara, the hours of day and night are equal. Light is overriding darkness. The goddess and God impel the wild creatures of the earth to reproduce. This is a time of beginnings, of action, of planting spells for future gains, and of tending ritual gardens. So that's some things I want you to think about, you know, today. Um, I love this. This is one of my favorite holidays, the, the vernal equinox. And, you know, today is when light and darkness are balanced. This is a wonderful time for us to take stock of our own journeys and say, are we achieving balance? Maybe there are areas where we're imbalanced in our lives. This is a great time just to sit and do a 
an accounting of where you are and what you're doing. If you've gotten off track, <clears throat> don't worry. You can start again. There's power now at Ostara to begin again. This is why I wear the beautiful Ankh today. It means life, eternal life. Don't get caught in the past. Don't spend your time saying, well, gee, I wish I hadn't done this or I hadn't done that. And I should have. No, no. It's not a time for beating up oneself. It's a time for loving oneself and saying, okay, have I got that balance? And if I don't, make plans to find it. You see? Wonderful day for starting new, starting again. Now, technically, according to my witch's almanac, actually, which I don't have here, but the witch's almanac says that it technically falls on Sunday, uh, the 20th. I always celebrate it on the 21st. That's just me. So whether you celebrate it Sunday or Monday, that's okay. In fact, you could do it over two days, Sunday and Monday, you know? Um, I think that the, the Sabbath feasts uh, can go on beyond just one day, you know, because that energy is growing and expanding and building, and we can really tap into that. And I think two days of meditation and prayer and magic are a wonderful way to honor Ostara. So anyways, uh, I'm not going to make this a long video. I'm still recovering. My throat is still quite damaged in my lungs as well. But just know for now that I love you. I am with you. I thank you from my heart for your prayers, for your blessings, for your protection, for being here in my time of need. So you know what? Psyche Bob's alive. I will not stop my ministry. I will not stop living. I will honor the great Lord and the great lady. And I invite all of you to join me in celebrating Ostara. Let's all offer up prayers. Go out for a walk. Walk in the nature. Hopefully tomorrow on Sunday I can go out. It's raining right now, but if it's nice tomorrow, maybe I can bring a do a nature walk video. Would you guys like that? Anyways, thank you for being here. Listen, I know it's Saturday and we would normally have Saturday night seance. Uh, I'm still healing. I feel like that uh, may overtax me. So we're going to put that off for a few days. But in the next few days, I'll do a seance video when I'm stronger. Okay, so... Just for now, know that I love you. I'm okay. I've gotten through it. I'm on the mend, and I'm with you as the wheel turns and we celebrate a star. Thank you, guys. Love you all. Blessings to you.